We have Kai Leitner, professional rock climber, Olympic hopeful, and star of Got Milk's new short film. <laughs> so um, Kai, tell us about how you got into climbing and how you became so passionate about it. For me, climbing has, well, as an activity, climbing has just been always something that I did. Just, it, I didn't do it in the sport way. Um, when I was a, a baby, before I could walk, I used to climb over baby gates at my daycare and get in trouble. And I used to eat lunch on basketball hoops. And one day, my mother, who was a college professor, was uh, talking to one of her colleagues outside of her school. And I climbed the 50-foot flagpole that was standing right next to her that flew the state flag. <laughs> and a lady walked by, uh, saw me up there. And she helped me get down safely. I was six, by the way. And she basically wrote the address to the local climbing gym in a sticky note and gave it to my mom and said that I should try rock climbing because that's a much safer alternative to what I was doing. And so wow. the next day after school, um, she brought me to the climbing gym and it was just like love at first sight. <laughs> that's amazing. And I li listened to some of your stories and some of your coaches and stuff. And What's amazing is how disciplined and dedicated you stay to it. How have you stayed so disciplined and dedicated, especially from a young age till now? I've just always loved the sport. And I think that in order to stay disciplined in something and stay passionate about something, you have to have like a deep seated, just overall passion for what you're doing. And I think that what motivates me is like setting new goals for myself, always achieving them. And also the fact that climbing is one of those sports where there's so many different genres, so many different styles and types that even if for some reason competition climbing, I don't want to do it in a few years, I can always go to outdoor climbing or I can do big wall climbing. So I think for me, just chasing that next adrenaline rush, that next goal is always really motivating for me. And it helps me stay disciplined in my everyday uh, training. It's awesome to see the drive and the discipline that you you stuck to dedication and passion are like intertwined because mm -hmm. you can't stay dedicated to something that isn't like a number one priority for you and climbing has always been that for me so mm -hmm. now i want to ask you about the short film the um short film you did with got milk tell us about the process behind that and what was your favorite part of that the process behind the film, it was actually really interesting because when they first contacted me about it, it was like, oh, that's such a no brainer because mm -hmm. milk has always just been like a part of my life growing up when I was a a little kid my mom used to have me drink a glass of milk every day just to make sure I was getting my necessary nutrients mm -hmm. and it's like a part of some of my earliest memories it's like sneaking milk out of my mom's cup into mine as a kid when she wasn't looking mm -hmm. and so it just felt like a natural fit for me and um, filming that process was really cool uh, because like I got to climb a skyscraper or yeah. a wall on top of a skyscraper and I think my favorite part of it had to be filming the dino scene mm -hmm. uh, that scene where like I'm jumping from from one hold really far to the next and my feet cut. Uh, I think that's so cool because we actually had to reset that part at least like three times because uh, I'm, I'm really tall. So like I'm mm. six two. And so the setters had a difficult time like gauging my size and like making sure I had to jump. And so we had to keep redoing it. And finally we got it right to where like I was able to jump. And when I did, it felt so freeing. Like almost like I was floating amongst the clouds in the middle of the air and getting able to catch that hole was like such a cool adrenaline uh, rush. That's amazing. And the way the filmmakers put this together is like, it caught that emotion. It's quite intense. And especially to watch it so high. What was it like working with Jimmy and the filming team? It was cool. Um, Jimmy Chen is someone that he works in my industry uh, mm -hmm. a lot. And I, we have a lot of mutual friends, but we've never worked on a project together. And so being able to meet him for the first time and uh, work with him on this project was super cool. Um, I mean, I'm really obviously familiar with a lot of this previous work, like Free Solo. Mm. And so I knew that the commercial was going to turn out really great. And I think it's a really cool opportunity to show the sport um, in a new light, especially leading up to the Olympics. So um, I, I love to ask you about that because um, it's exciting. The climbing is going to be just in the Olympics, what's your goals for just the sport? What's your goals for your career and what's next for you? Definitely 2024 is a really big goal for me. Um, when it came to the 2020 Olympics, I kind of had to make a decision a few years ago, whether I was going to go for that mm -hmm. or a, uh, get a free ride, sorry, a full ride to go to college. And so I decided to go to school and get a degree um, and focus on my schooling for the last few years. And I've still been training um, at a high level, just maybe not at the Olympic level at, at the moment, but just like keeping my body up, uh, up in shape and doing other forms of climbing. But now that my um, college, my undergrad degree is coming to an end soon mm -hmm. in the next year or so, um, I definitely want to start 
refocusing my training on the 2024 Olympics and um, restationing to go back on USC. Well, congratulations on that, on almost finishing college and your just dreams and goals there. Tell us about some of your training right now. Like, what does it look like um, right now and going into the summer and stuff? Like, how much are you training? How much, um, what's your routine right now? Right now, I think things are pretty rigorous because the national cups are coming up for my sports. And so uh, the way our selection process is, you do national cups, and then you do a national championships and then a national trials. And those events collectively decide who makes US team. And so currently we're just like wrapping things up and things are getting a bit more intense. And you know, being in school, like I was climbing at a high level, but I think that when you're, back surrounded by all these really strong talented athletes at the upper one percent of the sport is really motivating um it's really exhausting some days but um i'm just super excited to be back in the gym i'm excited and our viewers are excited to continue to watch your journey so kai what what continues to keep you going and motivates you to continue to be great that's a big question <laughs> <laughs> i think what motivates me it's a few things that motivate me i think Partially, like, I have such lofty goals in the sport that mm. I can't wait to achieve. Uh, when I started climbing, the Olympics was not a thing or a prospect in my sport. And it wasn't something that motivated me to be a part of it. I just really loved climbing. And so to have the sport be introduced at a completely new level, I think it will be an honor to be one of the few and first athletes to attend the Olympics at that level. So that's really motivating. Um, also just, I've always had a deep passion for the sport and pushing my personal physical limits. And so uh, I just, as, as long as I feel like as an athlete, I can get better, then I'm going to keep going at it. Um, also, I recently started a nonprofit organization, um, Climate for Change, that mm. focuses on uh, providing more opportunities for athletes of color in underserved communities, uh, because I felt that growing up, there are a lot of obstacles that I had to go through, me and my mother, uh, getting into the sport, mm. um, how expensive it was, how inaccessible it was, and how few people uh, who looked like me were represented. Mm. And so I wanted to start something that uh, would help provide more access, break down some of those barriers of entry and help usher in this new generation of diverse athletes as the sport is being introduced at a whole new level. And so that I think really motivates me to, to stay in the sport and to you know work as much as possible. How can our, our viewers connect with your nonprofit and give to your nonprofit and connect with you? Absolutely. So you can follow my nonprofit on social media, um, on, on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's climbing the number four in change. Um, you can donate, you can learn about my initiative, uh, we'll learn about my nonprofit's uh, mission statement on our website at www.climbingforchange, the number four change.org. And you can, yeah, just share it, donate it. And um, when the option to volunteer at local initiatives comes up, just sign up. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kai. Thanks for taking your time to um, share your story and to inspire people, not only through, through this video, but also through your life, your inspiration to us who are watching and just inspiration to so many people. So thank you, Kai. Thank you so much.